I'm with my mate Rowan, um, who owns one of the adventure companies in town. And um, today we're getting out on the Ovens River while the water's still up. It's been almost a year since I've um, paddled on any rivers and I honestly haven't done that much on rivers before. First thing for today is to try and uh, try and dial in a roll. I'm in the boat, Rowan's just hanging out. He's gonna help me out. Yeah, hopefully I'll be able to get one. I haven't really had one dialed in ever. So um, yeah, I'm excited. Head down towards me, head towards me, head yeah. towards me, ear right. in the water. Yeah. Roll the kayak towards me. Yeah, roll the kayak back. Yeah, kayak towards me. There we go, kayak towards me. Yeah, that's the head position. Okay, sweet. So paddle in the water. Mm. So tuck forward, paddle next, parallel to the boat. Like that. Yeah. Yeah. Roll it out sideways, trying to get that blade on the surface. The okay. Water. Hang on, which way am I supposed to turn? I'm supposed to go down this way, and so it'd be like that, wouldn't yeah. it? And then push up. That'd be the same movement. Okay. As before. Yeah. So my hand, hands on this side, roll over. That's okay. <laughs> Sweet. So Everything's so confusing. I'm tra trying to translate it from being upside down right way up to upside down and you're underwater and uh, I think right I, I think right I got it yeah everything is backwards <laughs> nice dude I, I used the bottom a little bit I'll be honest <laughs> yeah that's all right there he is. Oh, yeah <laughs> nice I didn't use the bottom that time I actually did it so we've just got out of the river to show you guys at home uh, a bit about reading the water and a bit about eddies. Yeah, we can see the main stream coming down here. There's lots of water moving in the river. Most of it's going down. And then we've got all these rocks in the water. Behind each of those rocks is an eddy. You can see a bit of a line of white water going past the rocks. And then what we call an eddy fence. And on the inside of the eddy fence is a calm section of water actually flowing back upstream relative to the main river. That's the eddy. And we use those a lot when we're kayaking on the river because they give us a spot to stop. It's out of the main current flow. We can pause there, we can regroup, we can look at what's coming next. <laughs> you make it look so easy. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> remember what I do for a living. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> there's, uh, yeah, there's obviously a lot of finesse here and Rose just basically drifting upstream and float, carving his way up. I'm working a little bit to try and keep the boat at the right angle and not catch an edge and yeah, a bit of finesse. So we've had a couple of laps now. Uh, Stan's getting the hang of it, getting those edges the right way, leaning downstream. So he's going to have a go, he's going to lead the way through this, this lap. And then I think uh, for this we might paddle on down. See? Ready to rumble, mate? Yeah, yeah it. sounds good. He's just pushed me straight into the eddy. <laughs> oh, they've got one. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> it's starting to feel better, and then as soon as your boat gets onto the wrong angle, it starts pulling you across the wrong way. <laughs> One of the things to be aware of when you're uh, on any river or moving water is, a, is strainers. So basically logs, uh, branches, different things that are in the river that you can get caught on. Pretty obvious risks there. If you're floating in the river and you came into that, well, wouldn't be guaranteed to come out the bottom of it. So something like that, a strainer, we just, we want to avoid. They're often on the sides of the banks. They're not usually the full way across the river like that. Just on this calmer section of river, I'm trying to find the edges of the boat and hopefully don't over find an edge. But um, I've been told that this is a good way to improve your uh, range of movement when kayaking and just uh, just general kayaking skills. Trying to. Woo, tip. Tip. <laughs> Without going all the way over. And. Um, <laughs> I'm glad I got up with that roll then. I'm glad we spent a bit of time with that. Phew. Yeah. 
So the next section narrows up a bit. We've got a couple of nice little rapids in there. But before we get there, even, we're just going to peel in, peel out of all the eddies on the way. Just get that feeling, get a practice. Stopping by the side, checking out what's next, peeling in, into the current, back into the eddy. So Rose just mentioned that there's a wave on this next section of the river. And, um, and he said that if the water's up enough, hopefully we'll be able to surf it. So we'll try and duck into the eddy and see if we can get in on it. Nice little wave here, maybe. It looks, looks like it's faded out a little bit. So we've got to glide across the main flow here. And then we don't really want to get the rave wave too far wrong. It's just downstream that throws you into the rocks if you uh, get it wrong. Sweet. <laughs> so by this stage in the paddle, I was starting to feel pretty good. Starting to feel a bit more in control with the boat. And then it happened. So I caught an edge and flipped and uh, got bounced along the bottom. Good thing wearing a helmet. Definitely felt a couple of rocks um, bump the helmet and then uh, managed to roll up. So I'm glad we spent the time at the start practicing the roll and um, I'm keen to have another crack, but uh, yeah, hopefully not eat it this time. Just at the splash park, uh, big swimming hole here in summer, where the slide and the diving board is. And um, we've just walked this rapid here. It's uh, a bit bony or a bit rocky. So we're uh, just walking around it and do these last couple of rapids. Every whitewater river gets a, a grade. So the ovens is nominally grade two, which means most of the current pushes you a safe place most of the time. Doesn't mean you couldn't have a bad day, and particularly you know, at higher river levels, or if you're paddling a different section of the river, the hazards can get way up there anyway. But you know, the section through town that we run as a tour that uh, we paddle a lot, normally grade two and a whole lot of fun. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, good one. Nice, mate. So almost slam on that last one. Um, got a bit wet, which is kind of refreshing. That was a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed that. And uh, we've just got a short flight to the car. We'll see you next week.